<laughs> okay, Rosie, I'm going to do a famous Peruvian dish, arroz con pato, which is basically duck cooked with rice. And apparently you can find it on just about every single Peruvian menu. And it starts with, of course, one whole duck. Now, what I've done is I've jointed the duck up, cut into mm. pieces, and that's what you can hear sizzling away in the sizzling pan now. Away. I've got the legs there and the breast there, and I've kept the bone on them. And I'll hand this over to you and pop that over to the side there because yeah. we, we no longer need it. And I'll put plenty of salt and pepper on it. It's got some lovely colour on it, and it's rendering down in its own fat. And it's a beautiful thing. I could just sit here listening to it and, you know, just... It's like the rain to you, isn't it? It, it is, you know. <laughs> I could just sit down with a glass of wine and listen to that. But we're not going to do that. We're going to get cracking on with the rest of the dish. Let's Spring onion here, chop it up nice and probably about an inch inch apart. Coriander, the same thing, rip through you that one. It. I've got some garlic cloves. I'm just going to smash these garlic cloves. These are beautiful young garlic cloves, and you can see the juice is coming out of that. Now, with the onions, I'm going to take the core out of them. Just remove the cores and slice this nice and thin. We're going to get this dish rocking away. So I've got everything nice and hot. The duck is already sizzled and seared and cooked all the way through. And by the time it comes together, because we basically cooked the rice and all this stuff together, it's like a one-pot dish on the stove. Some chilies. I've got some green and red chilies, and I'm going to cut it all the way through, making sure I keep the seeds in there because we want a bit of heat, don't we? We love well, the I heat. Well, I mean, it sounds like a very simple thing, duck and rice, but I know that you're going to make it pack a punch. No, well, it is going to pack a punch, but it's a really simple dish. It's basically what we call a pilaf rice, which is rice that's cooked in the, in the absorption way. You put the lid on it and let it absorb the beautiful stock and all the flavours. And with a duck in there as well, it makes it even more delicious. There is nothing wrong with simple. Now, the onion, garlic, the chilli, the capsicum, the red capsicum are in there. And that pan, I know, is really hot. So now I'm going to add the oil. Look at that. That's how hot it is. And I want to get everything moving along nicely. So I'll chuck these two bay leaves in there. And why don't you throw those herbs straight in here as well? You there we got go. It. We've got a lot of sizzle going on there. And what I'll do is I've got it going already, and I'll just stir it around like this. And you can see I've got some lovely colour. See that bay leaf? It's so fresh, it's tried to jump out of the pot, but it's not going to. I'm just going to give it a flick, and back in it goes. And what I'm going to do, Rosie, is add some salt, a good bit of salt in there, and a twist of pepper. Now, over here, I've got some spices, and I'm going to grab all these spices here. And you're going to grab that tomato there. I've got some dried chilli in it goes, about a tablespoon of that some smoked paprika, mm. and underneath there is some cayenne pepper as well, about a tablespoon of each. Nice mix. And then I've got some cumin. I'll give you those ones there. Tablespoon of cumin, a bit of spice, mm. a bit of action. And as soon as I put it in there, you can smell it, can't you? Love and it. what I'll do is stir that round for about 30 seconds or so till these flavours all come together. And another little trick, you can see those spices have soaked up all that olive oil. Very carefully, with that spoon holding the duck in, I'll pour some of that duck fat in there. No wasted. So, we don't waste anything. The duck fat is full of flavour. You can see everything softened up beautifully. That rice over there, Rosie, if you can pass that to me. You got it. Now I have two and a half cups of rice mm -hmm. and I have three and a half cups of boiling stock over the side there. So what I do is I pop the rice in there like that, hand that to you, make sure that rice is coated with all Flavors. those spices and even the duck fat. I'm going to have duck fat all over this thing. Now, now you what could I... use brown rice, flat rice, quinoa. You could use any of those things, but the main important dish is, of course, the duck. If you've got plenty of, of duck, it's going to taste good. So what I do is I pop the duck straight on top of you like this, and you can see it's been sealed off beautifully. Yep. Last little bit of fat goes on because we don't waste a thing. And the other trick is always turn the gas jet off after you've used it. Now to that I'm going to add my three and a half cups of stock onto the rice it goes. You can see it comes to the boil very, very quickly. And one of the tricks if you are doing this is make sure you push down the rice at the side, make sure there's nothing being exposed. Turn that down to the lowest possible heat, right down to number one. And then all I do is pop the lid on like this and let it sit there for about 20 minutes, just simmering away at a very gentle heat. Turn off the heat, let it sit there for five minutes and then scoop into it and we'll have some beautiful duck. Rosie, have a look at this. Ooh, uh, now one that of the, is beautiful, huh? It's beautiful, isn't it? And one of the beauties of using a big pot like this is you've got a big heavy lid on it. It holds all the juices in there. And if you want to, you can cook this dish in the oven. An oven mm. at 180 degrees Celsius, bung it in there for about 20 minutes or so, and it comes that together. That looks wholesome. It does, doesn't it? And this is a dish that's going to feed a lot of people. You've got those beautiful flavours of the duck there, all the peppers, the chilies, and the herbs in there as well, and plenty of rice to fill you up. Now, I'll just move that out of the way and 
put some spring onions on the top there because we need something nice and green. Now, Rosie, what I'm going to do is tuck into this and I'm going to tell you how delicious it is. And you can see the duck just Nothing falls that spring off onion the bone. You can tuck into that spring onion because there's not enough duck on this plate for two people. So what I'm going to do is have a little taste of that and the rice on there as well. No, this is your time it smells, to be greedy. It smells gorgeous. Those flavours would have gone so into that rice. Mm. The most delicious. Tell me how it is. It's better, better than you can expect. It is such a lovely dish. The flavour of the duck and all those things have gone all the way through the rice, the spice, the peppers, the herbs, everything. I think it's a great dish. I would have to say this is my favourite Peruvian dish of all. I like when you're happy.